Hello ladies and gents, Bro here, and welcome to No One More Films. Today we're going to continue our Apple Weekly News, and let's go ahead and jump straight into the first article of the week, which is by Steve Kovac, and uh, which discusses everything we expect Apple to announce at its event this September. Uh, September 7th, to be specifically, if you guys are looking for a particular date and if you don't want to miss the keynote itself. But uh, one of the items, well, to start off, one of the items that will be announced is definitely the iPhone 7, and which I am completely, I just can't wait for them. I, I want to know all the features they're going to offer and everything new. I hope I don't get disappointed. And most of the time, we are not. But the second will be, there will be two models again. Um, it is often... I've actually seen a lot of articles that there may be three models, three different models announced this time, but uh, this article uh, states that there will only be two models. Um, then the, the 4.7 inch iPhone will have a larger camera, That's uh, and then the Plus model will have a dual camera system, which we uh, most of us already knew. And then the headphone jack is going away. <laughs> that is, of course, uh, no big news there either. Um, there might be a new wireless earbuds, which I actually covered in my last week's video, calling the, the AirPods, I believe they were called, or they may also be Bluetooth completely, or using the lightning cable to plug into your iPhone 7. Uh, the home button is changing, and would more than likely, instead of having the touch sensitivity, I mean, including the touch sensitivity, it says right here the iPhone 7's home button won't be a button at all, according to a report from Mark Gurman in Bloomberg. Instead, it will be a pressure-sensitive pad without any moving parts. And uh, more than likely, the, this will be more than likely because it's going to be waterproof, the iPhone 7, so instead of having an actual button that could be potentially release or have any access of water damage, it could be just a, just a pressure-sensitive plate type of uh, button as well, where you just all you got to do is simply place your finger there, and it will act as a button. Um, also, there might be a new blue color iPhone, which I've also covered previously, that we might have a deep blue iPhone color, which I'm personally excited. I'm not disappointed at that. Uh, new color, no, no big change there. Um, and then uh, besides the new iPhone, we may also see a new version of the Apple Watch. And this was actually covered in the uh, Worldwide Developers Conference. They did announce uh, WatchOS 3. And they, they, the, basic, the, <laughs> the biggest improvement in WatchOS 3 was that the speed of the Apple Watch was increased increased by like 10 times and they showed a quick uh, comparison video of that as well. Uh, looks like last but not least we'll get a final release of the iOS 10, Mac OS Sierra, TVS OS and Watch OS 3 which I just discussed and uh, we'll get the final dates and the final announcements of that of when it will be actually released to the public. As we all know right now the beta is currently in stage and I personally am running the beta and I've enjoyed everything about it so far. Um, Moving on to the next article, we have the iPhone 7 rumored to offer improved fast charging support. Now, uh, it is said, it was often said that uh, a wireless charging system might be available for the latest iPhone. And uh, this article actually goes on and says that it doesn't appear that way. It doesn't appear that that will actually be offered on the latest iPhone. Um, this was kind of disappointing to me. Uh, um, it will be interesting to see what Apple actually announces in September 7th. But uh, we'll just have to see on this. And uh, I was just, this article was interesting. It said that uh, according to latest uh, rumors and statistics, uh, Apple will not be offering a wireless charging system to your iPhone. Um, but uh, next, I do have a top 10 HomeKit compatible home automation products of 2016. I have a list here. I'm going to go through them quickly. Uh, basically, within the iPhone 7, the uh, iOS 10 beta, you had the the new app was included, in the HomeKit app or the Home, uh, the Home app. I forgot what it's called exactly. I'm actually gonna look at it up right now. Yeah, it's just called the Home app, and it basically will connect any wireless device you have throughout your house, and you'll be able to use it and control it all from your phone, like your air conditioning, your garage, your lights, all the way from your lights to your air cooling systems and your fans. It's really interesting, but here's some of the actual compatible devices now available for you to purchase, and you can actually use them and apply them to your house right now. For example, the Elgato EV home monitoring, basically it will let you know how your air quality is, and it will also it'll tell you the temperature, the humidity levels in your house, it's honestly, it's, it's a pretty cool, it's EV here. And uh, moving on, we do have the first alert one link. Uh, it's like an alert system, lets you know if uh, there's uh, some kind of smoke in the house that shouldn't be there or uh, some kind of 
Uh, I'm not really sure about this one exactly, but it is, it's another detector that will let you know what the air quality of your house is. <laughs> then we got the Philips Hue. If you guys haven't seen these lights, I thought these lights were kind of interesting. Personally, you can change them from any color and you can all stay last. I, I'm not sure what the life expectancy was. I believe it was a couple years, but uh, don't uh, quote me on that. <laughs> but it's by Philips and you can control the lights, the sensitivity, the lights, uh, the dimness of it all through your phone as well, wirelessly. And then we have the Hunter Symphony ceiling fans. It can be turned on and off and adjusted uh, August smart lock. Um, unlock your door with your iPhone <laughs> without even using a key. It's pretty interesting. And they got that b 3 uh, you can control your air conditioning, you got the weather on here, whole touch screen, you can see the iPad and I, the iPhone apps, even the, compatible with your Apple Watch as well. Then we got the iDevices Switch, I'm not quite sure what this one does, but it is, you can plug in, I believe, your uh, iPhone like charger in it, and you can shut this uh, plug in, off or on, depends on uh, what you're doing. And then we got the Smart Alarm. Yeah, basically bur burglary protects your house. It's uh, pretty interesting. You can set these by your doors, an example. It'll let you know when a door is open or when the door is closed right on your iPhone. And then we got the Latrun Smart Window Shades. I wasn't quite sure about this one, but it kind of looks like you can control your shades of your house. Like you can basically open them, close them. Basically, if you're sitting on the couch, you don't feel like getting up and maybe opening your shades up just to let, let some light in. You can be sitting on the couch, open up the app, move a little button, and it will open the shades for you or your blinds. And <laughs> I just think that was, it was interesting to see that here offered. Uh, then we got the Chamberlain MyQ Garage. This is pretty cool. You can open and close your garage. It can let you know if your garage is open or closed. So if you ever uh, leave your house and you thought you left the garage door closed or opened, uh, you, instead of going back and checking it, you should open up this app and it will let you know if your garage door is open or closed. And I thought that was pretty interesting as well. Uh, last but not least, I do have an app here. It's called Jam Looper. If you are into music and you're creating music, I highly recommend you check out this app. It'll be linked in the description for you guys, along with all the articles I just discussed. Be sure to check a look. And other than that, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next video and later. So let